Hey everybody, my name is Blake Cadwell. I'm the co-founder at Soundly.com. And in this video, we're going to be talking about an important decision that any hearing aid shopper will need to make. And that is, do you go with over-the-counter hearing aids or prescriptive devices that you'll get in a local clinic? We're going to break down all the factors that you need to consider, including your own hearing loss, technology, price, and even some lifestyle components. We'll get into all of that in this video. Let's get into it. So the first and most important factor to consider as you're deciding between prescription hearing aids and over-the-counter hearing aids is your individual hearing loss. Now, hopefully by now you've taken a test at a local clinic or you've taken the hearing test at soundly.com. If you haven't done that, we recommend you take a few minutes and go take that test now. Once you have that test, what you'll see is a chart that maps the quietest sound you can hear from low frequencies to high frequencies. Most people's hearing loss will look like a slope downward, but there are of course many different configurations to folks hearing loss. In my case, I have a cookie bite, so my hearing is pretty good in the lows, goes down in the mids and comes back up in the high frequencies. Now, generally, when you look at this chart, you're looking from left to right, and you're looking to make sure that most of the frequencies are in the mild or the moderate category. That means they stay above about 70 decibels. If you dip down below 70 decibels on several different points in the chart, you're probably not going to be a good candidate for over-the-counter hearing aids. The reason for that is that the FDA actually limits the amount of sound output that is allowed from an over-the-counter device. That ensures that these over-the-counter devices are safe for most folks, but it also means that if you have severe loss, you're not going to get enough amplification to really benefit. So if you see in your chart that most or many of the points on that chart are in the severe category, you probably want to go to a local clinic, or of course you can get in touch with our team and we'll help you find a local clinic in your area. If most of your hearing chart is in the mild or moderate categories, you could be a good candidate for over-the-counter hearing aids. The second important factor that you'll want to think about as you consider prescription versus over-the-counter devices is the way that the program is actually set in these devices. So if you go to a local clinic, there will be a hearing test that's administered to you in a sound booth, and then your hearing professional will use their software to tune those hearing aids to match your individual hearing loss. Now in most quality over-the-counter devices like Sennheiser, Sony, or Bose, there's a similar process that you'll go through, but instead of going through that process at a local clinic, you're doing it at home. Usually you'll put in your hearing aids, you'll hear tones or frequencies, you'll respond in a smartphone app, and then that smartphone app programs your devices. So essentially you're doing the process of programming at home, it's self-directed by you. Now, according to several notable clinical studies, the outcomes of both routes can lead to similarly positive results. Said another way, you can customize your hearing aids using a smartphone app, or you can customize your hearing aids with a professional in a local clinic. In both cases, folks get similar benefit according to several different studies. The important question is which one matches your particular tastes. If you're someone who likes to be self-directed, enjoys using technology, over-the-counter hearing aids could be a good option. If you really wanna work with someone or have someone to talk you through the entire process, going to a local clinic may be well worth the additional cost. Now, speaking of cost, this is another major difference between prescription and over-the-counter devices. Let's take, for example, the Sennheiser All Day Clear over-the-counter hearing aids. These cost about $1,000 for a pair. They come with a year warranty, 45-day returns, and they're programmed by you using your smartphone. On the other hand, these are the Unitron hearing aids, which are sold typically for $3,500 to $4,500 in a local clinic. And they have the same base technology, but along with the purchase, you're going to be working with a local hearing professional. Now, if you actually open up these two cases and take a look at the two devices side by side, they are virtually identical. They're clearly coming off the same line. They're made by the same base manufacturer, which is Sonova. And so the core technology is very similar. The way they handle background noise, the way that they manage frequencies, the bands that are available to customize to your particular loss. The big difference is that you're working with a smartphone or you're working with a professional. And of course, there's a big difference in price. Now, outside of programming support, there are other notable advantages to working with a local clinic. For example, at a local clinic, you'll test your hearing in a booth, whereas with Sennheiser, you're testing your hearing using the smartphone app. Some people like the independence, they like the ability to tweak things. Other people really want to go through a more formal process. The final thing to consider when you're choosing between prescription and over-the-counter devices is of course technology. You might wonder which of the hearing aids are better on an underlying technology level. Now the short answer is in the cases of Sony and Sennheiser, the same manufacturer is making an over-the-counter product as a prescription product 
in clinic. So when you look at the two side by side, the technology differences are extremely minimal, if they're at all. But of course, Sony and Sennheiser are not the only hearing aids on the market. There are lots of brands of hearing aids, many of them available on Amazon, and maybe even just for a few hundred dollars. In those cases, the technology is quite different, substantially different than what you would find in a local clinic. Some examples would include how well those devices manage sudden sounds. So if a door slams, are they able to compress that sound and make it comfortable in your ears? A product like Sony or Sennheiser does that pretty well, whereas a cheaper product, maybe just for $100 or $200 off of Amazon, will almost certainly not do that very well. You can see similar variances when you look at something like form factor. Sony CREC20, which is currently our best seller in the ear, is the exact same size as Signia Silk, which is the prescription brand. But if you compare Sony CREC20 to some of the in-ear options from cheaper brands, the devices themselves are much larger when you go down to the cheaper price points. So long story short, our recommendation to most folks who are interested in over-the-counter devices is to go with a trusted brand like Sennheiser, Sony, Bose, or maybe Ergo. All of these have credible R&D teams, and in some cases, they're literally based on the same technology as the in-clinic option. You're then really deciding between which care model and which price fits your particular tastes the best. Ultimately, the decision to go prescription or over-the-counter is very personal. If you consider your hearing loss, which we talked about at the beginning, you understand the brands that are doing a good job in the space, and you generally understand your own appetite for programming and technology, you'll be able to make a decision that makes a lot of sense for you. Now, if you do decide to purchase over-the-counter devices, you can do that through soundly.com. We sell only brands that we believe in and back up. In some cases, we've negotiated higher return rates and better perks for our customers. We also include a complimentary setup call with our audiologist with any devices that you purchase. So we won't be programming the devices, but we can get on the phone with you and help walk you through the process of programming them yourself. Alternatively, if you feel that going to a clinic is a better choice for you, we can connect you with a local clinic in your area via soundly.com. We hope this video has answered some of your questions. If you have more questions, drop them in the comments below or get in touch with our team. Thank you and good luck with your research.